Welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade. We just freed uh, Thingy and now we're gonna go escape. No problem. No! Are you kidding me? Really? Really? After I said I let him go, I go into frenzy. Oh my god! I guess that just happens sometimes. That's what happens when you're drunk, drink. You're just in the middle of a conversation and you go, oh, I'm gonna eat your face! Uh oh. Don't press that button. Oh god, timer. Sorry, Professor Johansson! I didn't mean to kill you, but it's too late now, run! <laughs> or walks fast. I don't know. Still can't believe I went into a frenzy. That was beyond my control. I gave in to the beast. I need to feed, because I'm a. I'm a, I'm a hungry. The evening, so I can go and get my. I know, let's go the long way out. No, let's just take the boat. That boat there. Oh, 26. Ah! Run faster, damn it! Here we go. Where do we end up? Oh, whoa, what the? Okay, I first need to feed before I go to frenzy again. Hey, baby. That depends how much. Mm. How about 20? Well, mm. Let's go. Alright, take, follow me. I don't know what's going on, but at the moment I don't care. I need to feed before I start going mental again. My lips. Okay, honey. Sure, let me show you. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that hits the spot. Oh, thanks for that, babe. You feel good. How do you feel? Bum, I'd like to feed it as well. Thanks for that bum. <laughs> oh, whoa. Diseased blood. Well, that wasn't good. Let's go find out what's just happened. I still can't believe I killed Professor Johansson after I said I'd let him go. Uh, oh, full moon! Awesome, I can actually see the full moon from my window. It's pretty huge, actually. That's what she said. No, no, no. <gasps> no. No, not chunk. Not chunk. I hope it's not Chunk. Chunk's not dead, I hope. Chunk. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Huh? What? You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless, but they don't know to was here? attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. It's about what? I suppose I should have talked to the prince first, back in a minute. <laughs> With whom do they think they're dealing? Attack me in my own building! They're desperate. <laughs> They've shown their weakness. 
A last ditch attempt to steal the prize. Who did this? The Savat. A pack of shovelheads with cheap pistols was all they could muster. Two got a few stories up, but I took care of them. And my sheriff brought the rest their final death in the lobby. Sabat animals. <laughs> Sabat attacked, why? Why else? The motive of every kindred in the entire city these last few nights. The Ankaran sarcophagus. They've been misled into thinking the sarcophagus holds a sleeping ancient. Their most coveted feasts. Diablerists. Diablerists. The Sabbat's infamy is in no small part due to their practice of diablery, that is, drinking the blood of other kindred, especially older ones, until they are dead. Diablerists gain the power of those they've fed upon. And the Camarilla, this is an act punishable by death. For the moment, we've manipulated the press. But why? What if it's given willingly? A terrorist attack. You know, to save their soldiers lives may or whatever. be no danger to me, but their threat to the masquerade is abundant. As my best agent, I'm sure you can guess my course of action. <laughs> I said, hey, you lazy sheriff, go wipe out the Sabbat. You want me to wipe out the Sabbat? It would be my pleasure. The Sabbat have made their haven at the Halibrook Hotel. Oh, we've been going right by that. Right under our noses, here in downtown. Kill their leader. The rest will scamper out of the city. This is the last time they ever set foot in Los Angeles. Before you go, Beckett told me you went to the Society of Leopold. Did you find out how my sarcophagus is opened? Yes, I did. What? What did you find out? The missing crate from the day and it's a key to the sarcophagus. A key? Where? Do you have it? No idea, but you'll be happy to know I killed Bark. <laughs> Not only did you infiltrate the Society of Leopold, but you managed to kill their greatest hunter. You certainly are developing a legend for yourself. Why, well, thank you. Superb. <laughs> Although it's not much coming from you. And to victory over the Sabbat. And to Bach. May all his progeny meet such fates. I did you a favor wiping out Bach. Don't you think that's worth something? Here. <laughs> Pity you don't have his head. I would have sent it to the Inquisitor General. I guess I'll go prepared to take out the Sabbat. The Sabbat must be wiped out before dawn. Then, when you come back, we'll begin the hunt for the key. Okay. Well, that was um, that was actually kind of cool. Sheriff, what's up? You're freaking tall, man. What are you? Seven foot. You can always count. The wrong time, wrong thing for the right reasons, what does that mean? The Sabbat's goal is to stop Gehenna, which is very similar to my own, though they choose to do so through more violent, fanatic, and flamboyant methods. The Camarilla, on the other hand, suspends belief entirely. Or so goes the party line. You're not Camarilla? What I am is kindred. How others choose to categorize themselves concerns me only where local customs are concerned. Individualism is a path fraught with obstacles and sometimes angry mobs. But for all its hardships, it is the only one worth taking. I met with Dr. Johansson. What did Johansson have to say? He said there was a key for the sarcophagus, but he doesn't know where he is. He said it's the tomb of a Meserek, an Assyrian king. Assyrian origin. Glad to see I'm not losing my touch. As for Meserak, I'll have to research that name. See what I can find. Alright, I'm going to have to end here because we're running out of time in the next video. Um, we won't be going to the Sabat because I've read something about getting a special, well, a really good item. So I'm going to go get that. So, yeah, see you in a bit.